What is up everybody? Happy Wednesday. It is reset. That means there is another lost sector out and I have not made another lost sector guide for you. Uh, today's lost sector is Chamber of Starlight on the Dreaming City or in the Dreaming City. Um, it is ch it is head today for exotics and it is overload and unstoppable champions. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a bit of a hard time with this one actually. Um, I tried running a couple solar builds and I was I was getting my ass kicked to be, to be frank. Uh, I tried on my Titan, I tried to run it uh, like Caliban's hand on this, and I don't know if it's just the open spaces or the snipers in this one, or just the void. I was getting my ass handed to me, and I put I had three void resistance mods on, and it's not even void threat, which is the weird thing. Um, so I was just, I was getting hit. So I put back on my, my void Night Stalker build, and, uh... And I went through it fairly well. Uh, so I got some tips and tricks for you guys with this one. It is a very open combat area in here. There's a lot of large spaces, a lot of hobgoblins that take a lot of pot shots at you. And I feel like the AI has gotten some uh, some aimbot on lately. But, uh, you know, it's whatever. It happens. Once you come into this, the first room, you're going to have a hobgoblin far up top. Shoot him first. Uh, that will take care of some uh, issues for you guys. And, and then the rest just kind of take out the unstoppable champion like I showed you in the beginning and take out the other adds. If you have the uh, uh, perk on to give you orbs every time you break a enemy shield that matches your subtype, definitely pull it on here. All of them are using, there's only two I believe that are using solar shields, the rest are all using void shields. Uh, so definitely put that on. You guys can pop your super a few times in here. You'll see that I was able to pop it a few times as well. Uh, once you come to the large room, the chamber, uh, aka the chamber, you will have uh, multiple enemies sitting in front uh, of you. You will have an unstoppable champion. There will be two in this chamber fully. I suggest taking out the first one to the far right first, and then you'll have one come after you when you actually move past a certain area. Once you take out the first unstoppable champion, uh, I suggest using something with solar instead of void this time. Uh, it is, it's a bit difficult. Uh, with it not being void burn and it being solar and strand. Uh, if you have the new uh, su the new heavy machine gun uh, with the uh, strand, I would definitely use that. Or uh, actually, I would actually use Galahorn. Yeah, if you have the spot to have an exotic, use Galahorn. Uh, once you get past a certain point, you will have a bunch of enemies converge on your position. Uh, very aggressively, you will have an unstoppable champion that will come try and come after you. There is a certain point where I'm at right here where he won't keep running at me. He will see me and kind of just stop. The boss will be with him at the same time. Be very careful. Since it is solar threat, the boss is a wizard that will throw solar darts at you or solar tracking projectiles that do a lot of damage. So be very careful. I definitely suggest taking out all the ads in this one and just making it single, uh, single you and the boss only, not ads and the boss. It's just a bit difficult to maintain. There's probably some people who have a better option and better routes to do this, um, but I, I found that just taking out as many enemies as possible, spawning as many orbs of power as possible to keep my abilities up was the best option. Once you have taken out as many ads as you uh, would like, be weary that in the back there is two hobgoblins and an overload goblin as well. Um, the overload goblin, I don't know about you guys, you know, comment down below if you guys have noticed this, but I feel like they can take a lot more damage and they are not stunned as fat as long as they used to be, and it's kind of an annoyance. Um, I kind of effed up right here. The bad thing about using Night Stalker, especially with the, uh, uh, when actually you fire off two or one deadfall and anchor, um, you do not get, uh... The tracking very well. The tracking just kind of goes to the first enemy that it sees. So I can aim for the boss and go for the. If it's a knight in front of him, it went for the knight instead. Unfortunately, that stuff happens. Uh, the good thing about this build is I was able to stay alive the whole time, uh, not have any issues. I was able to solo flawless this. It did take me a bit more time than I wanted it to. But you'll notice right here that I'm getting. I have three void mods on. I'm getting hit for almost half my health in one single shot, which I think something's going on. I don't know. Um, but once you take out the boss, I suggest going after the overload after that, uh, just so you can save yourself some time and space and not try and worry about, oh, I can't, I gotta get platinum before I kill the boss. Kill the boss and then go after the overload taking an hobgoblin. It is a pain in the ass. But once you get it, once you take him down, you're good to go. Uh, this definitely is a harder loss sector. I hope you guys get some good help, helpful tips and tricks out of this. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and, uh, see you guys later. Peace out.